The Surface Blend Tool in AutoCAD 2011 creates a continuous blended surface between two existing In the bike model, for example, I can select two edges of existing surfaces. These are two different selection sets, so I select the outer surface, hit enter, and then select the inner surface. AutoCAD automatically creates a blended surface between those two surfaces, and I can control the continuity of each edge. For example, here I'll go ahead and make a G2 continuity. I'll do that for both edges. And you can see the difference there compared to doing maybe a G0 continuity where it has a sharp edge. Since these are intelligent, explicit surfaces, you can use the Properties window to view and modify properties that are specific to a blended type surface. Now this example is relatively simple, but let's take a look at a more creative example. Here I have two surfaces, and they're kind of out in space, sort of no real relation with each other. Using the Blend tool, I can select each of those surface edges, and AutoCAD creates that blended surface between them. Now because these are associative, as I make changes to these surfaces, that blended surface updates as well.